So in front of me here, I have ACTEC's first product going into the simulator market. It's our Invicta pedals, which will be our high-end series of uh, pedals. The first thing you will see is that you can see the, the clutch pedal is separated from the brake and the throttle. The reason for that, of course, is that, for example, in a lot of Formula cars, for example, like in the GT3 car behind me, you don't really need a clutch. So the user can buy with or without clutch. It's uh, two simple screws. You click them together and attach it. The next thing you will see is that it's basically an all metal uh, construction. It's all aluminum and steel, uh, no plastic parts whatsoever. All the adjustments, everything is uh, aluminum. And the reason for that, of course, is that, as I said earlier, we want the pedals to be able to take the same amount of beating as you would see in a real race car. That's the whole uh, plan. We have a, a heel rest, we have a, LED lights that you can configure. Of course, you don't have LED lights in a real race car, but since this is a gaming product, we thought it would look cool with some LED lights. As on the real car pedals, you have 90 degrees, more or less, between the, the pedal base and the pedal plates. You can move around the pedal plates in all kinds of directions. These pedal plates right here are made for use with shoes or, or racing shoes. The design is actually inspired by a, a classic Ferrari F430 that I personally like a lot. I think it's one of Ferrari's big classics, so we took some inspiration from that. We do realize that if you're wearing socks and you're just uh, a casual race or doing it uh, for fun also from time to time, we will actually have other pedal plates uh, available that are, let's say, more uh, friendly without shoes. So if you're just wearing socks or something like that, you will not have these that's called the sharp edges and, and, and things that you see here, but this is really to provide a good grip when you're wearing uh, race boots. If we turn it to the side here, you can see all aluminum uh, pedal arms. We have bearings, ball bearings in each uh, pedal arm, so there's only a very little amount of play in it. We have a clutch with a real bite point, like in a real uh, car. We have not over-engineered neither the clutch or the, the throttle because in a race car this is simple stuff. It needs to work but there's no point in making hydraulic clutches or hydraulic throttles. You can adjust the hardness of the spring. You can put in a harder spring if you want so you can get the throttle feel uh, that you desire. You can adjust the pedal position on these finger screws, as well as the, the travel of the brake or the, the throttle if you want a short. You cannot really adjust them to a 45 degree uh, leaned angle. These are made like in a real race car. If we look a little bit on our brake cylinder, here you have the, the brake cylinder itself, the, the pressure sensor. We have this little uh, bell here. The idea here is that you can take this apart and then in here, we have a polymer. We have them in different uh, hardnesses. Right here, it's the, the white one. They will come in a, in a black and a green version, but they will all be hard. And when I say hard, I think the, the black one, which will be the softest, is still soft for a race car driver. Uh, but but they, are not, uh, they are not like chewing gum, let's put it like that. When I showed you the brake disc and the caliber before, I think it's needless to say that it's made of steel, it's made of aluminum. This stuff doesn't really flex. So when you press a brake pedal in a real race car really hard, it will travel a few millimeters and then it will be a full stop. And that's the same as we implemented here. When this orange disc touches this bell, then it's full stop. Then it can simply not travel anymore. And that's by design. Also because you don't want to over-exercise the polymer in here, uh, then it will wear out really fast. And as you may remember uh, before, we want the pedals to handle at least uh, one million uh, activations. One thing you can do though, that I think is a pretty cool feature, is you can simulate the distance between the brake discs and the brake pads. So as you can see here, the brake pedal is really soft before it then turns hard. If I want a smaller travel, then I tighten this. Now there's no travel. Now it gets hard right away. 
So you, that's user configurable. And then there's a thread in this one as well. So you just screw this towards the other one and now it's locked. So then you can get exactly the brake feel uh, that you want and the brake feel that you like. As you can see here, we have a, a small plastic cover. We have the PCB uh, for, the, for the pedal set in here. And as you will note, we have attached the USB cable on the front. These pedals are heavy duty. They are made for hard pressure. So of course you really need to bolt them to your rig or to your floor. If you just put them like this on your floor and you break, they will skate across the floor. So they are really made for, for hard mounting. 